Good morning, everyone. Hope that you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be going over how to use Google Meet. So Google Meet is one of the plethora of options available for online meetings. Uh, this one, you only need to have your basic Gmail account to be able to access. I've already logged into mine, uh, as you can see in the top right. But if you happen to reach a login screen before you get here, you, can, you have options to either create your account or to log in with your normal Gmail login information. Um, we have four different um, options in starting out. So we have create a meeting for later, start an instant meeting, schedule in Google Calendar, and then enter a code or link. So when you're scheduling um, your meetings, uh, you can do one of these three options if you're ready to enter into a meeting you can use this code box right here now in entering into a meeting you um, when you're scheduling a meeting Google will send out an email to participants to let them know either hey a meeting's going on right now if you chose instant meeting or hey a meeting's going to go on later if you choose the um, you know schedule a meeting so uh, the participants that receive an email uh, we'll have a link within the email body that they could click to automatically enter into the meeting at the appropriate time. Or you have your enter a code or link, which they can actually physically, if you wanted to create your own like special password or special meeting room name or something like that, that's some, and just keep that regular as you go throughout, that's something you could enter into there as well. All right, we're going to go over two of the three options. So schedule in Google Calendar. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can, if you use Google Calendar, that's a great way for everything to just kind of sync up. Um, let's go ahead and go over instant meeting and meeting for later. Let's go ahead and start with instant meeting. All righty. So it says your meeting's ready. We're ready to go. Um, Make, just in this, you can make sure your camera's on, make sure your audio's on. Mine are obviously off for recording reasons. You have your details, um, which gives you the joining info. You have a participants button. Here you can, um, if you're the host, you can control kind of what happens in the meeting. So God forbid somebody is talking way too much, you can mute them. Or if there's a lot of feedback, if, um, if there's a lot of people talking at once, you can mute everybody to do that. Host controls. Um, We'll also show you, you can um, limit who can share their screen um, if you only want to be the one who, you know, uh, shares their screen. Um, that's an option for you right now. Blue means on, white means off. And then uh, sending chat messages. So you have a chat window on the next tab right here where people can send messages. Um, finally, you have some more settings. So whiteboarding, uh, there's just different different options. So if you have your premium account, you could use these bottom three options. Whiteboarding is basically just, you know, being able to sketch things out collectively. Then finally, your safety. So you can um, choose your management settings as well. So it's it, it has host management turned on, which were some of the options that we already discussed here. And of course, you can also view the many different settings available to you. If you are troubleshooting with um, video or audio for any reason, this would be a good place to start because you have your audio. So right now, of course, I'm using my my my, uh, my um, auxiliary microphone. Everything's off right now and camera is off. But it, if uh, someone's having problems with camera, it's probably because of the camera option. If someone's having problems with audio, you just do your audio option, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and so we'll have the opportunity to be able to to automatically add others so that Google will send out a form email and then they could click the link within the um, within the email itself. Okay, so that's that's the first example. Let's see. Let's go ahead and end this meeting. So that was the first option, the instant meeting. Let me see if there are any other options we could do. If you are hard of hearing, um, there is a captions option where, where Google will automatically interpret your speech and put that into a uh, closely approximated captioning system. You also have present now. So if I wanted to present my screen, um, basically, if you have uh, a book you want to share, um, you can also limit that. So if you don't want people to see your entire uh, screen, you can limit that to a tab or a window. So the tab, of course, refers to your internet tabs. The window refers to um, any available window. So if I wanted to share my file folder, I could do that. Um, okay, let's end that meeting. And then you, it, you have the option just for you to leave or end the entire call because I am the host leave. Okay, return to home screen. 
let's go ahead and take a look at creating a meeting for later. So here's the link. Um, so we have this link available. Now all you have to do here, you can, um, you will have to man manually send this out yourself. So when the time comes, you'll be able to share that. <laughs> um, it looks like there's, I, I assumed there would be more scheduling options. I guess there are not. One second. Okay. So, anything else here? I don't think we really need to go over. If you do have any major problems, let Google know. It's, you know, they're, they're pretty on top of making sure everything's taken care of. Um, yeah, you got your audio and video, which we already went over, and that's it. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, anyways, hope you have a great day. Thanks.